hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to authenticate email domain in zoho crm let's begin to authenticate an email domain in zoho crm you'll need to configure the spf dkim and dmark settings for your domain now these configurations improve email deliverability and ensure that your emails sent via Zoho are not marked as spam. So once you are logged into your Zoho account, I want you to hover to the CRM section. There are multiple Zoho products here. Click on the CRM. And you will be navigated to the Zoho Mail Admin Console. I want you to click on the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon. That's going to be in the settings and click on the channels tab, which has the email section. From here, in the channels department, you, you might want to click on the email deliverability. And this is where we need to improve the deliverability of your emails. Ensure that all email sending domains are authenticated with SPF or Sender Policy Framework and DKIM, which is the domain keys identified mail records and of course the DMARC status. All you have to do now is click the add domain if you haven't already type in the email address and that's going to be if you don't know if you don't know the spelling or not sure about the uh, email that you are using for example in my case i am using google workspace and my email is this so i'm just going to copy this to make sure there's no uh, incorrect spelling now from here i'm going to type it in click the add domain takes a little while you see now it says here no dmark and there is like an incomplete pending authentication and we need to enter the code that zoho sent to your email in this case i opened my gmail and i found this email from zoho you see t dash Labs.com is a domain for sending mails through the CRM account. You need to verify the email address by entering this verification code. All right. And of course, we just have to follow these steps below. Setup, channels, email, email deliverability, email authentication, and click the enter code under your domain and submit the code. The code expires in 15 days after which you have generated a new code. So let's do that right now. Here, we just have to enter the code that we have copied click on the verify so domain has been verified all right now since we have authenticated the email domain here we need to click the uh, validate records all right now don't worry because it's kind of like easy adding all these records the dkim and the spf to the uh, dns settings so click the validate records for now all right so a DKIM record is missing. Now we need to add the public key to the subdomain right here, which is I'm going accessible via the DNS settings of your hosting provider. In my case, that is powered by Squarespace. You see, this is my domain. I'm going to click the Squarespace, my hosting provider. I'm going to click my profile icon here. Click the domain section. Click this. And then in this section, just click the DNS, all right? And we're going to add a new record for the GKIM. GKIM is normally a text type, and then we need to very quickly switch over to the Zoho CRM and copy this value, all right? Now for the host here, you just have to type in this one right here. And the text or the value is going to be this and all i have to do is click on save now it takes a little while before it uh the uh, dns records be propagated all right now i'm going to quickly switch over to the zoho crm here i'm gonna click the validate records all right And from here, you all you have to do is wait for 24 to 48 hours before the DNS record propagated. All right. So you can't wait. You just have to wait at this point. Basically, that's how you authenticate email domain in Zoho CRM. 
Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.